Hi everyone, this is a video tutorial to help you determine whether an SN1 or an E1 product will be favored after a reaction has happened. So in the case of E1 and SN1, the battle between them is pretty neck and neck. They have exactly the same preference for a weak base, and they also have exactly the same preference for alkyl halide. They only like tertiary, benzylic, or allylic. There are a couple cases where you may have one be produced in a greater quantity than the other. In the first case, it's the tertiary case. So for tertiary alkyl halides, typically you'll see that the SN1 product is favored. The second factor that comes into play is temperature. Usually the higher the temperature, the greater the preference for an E1 reaction is. The reason for that is this. When you increase the temperature, the contribution of entropy to the overall Gibbs free energy value is increased and becomes more important. Entropy favors disorder. So when you think about an SN1 reaction, SN1s make two products. E1 makes three products. So there's a greater value of entropy for an E1 reaction than an SN1 reaction. So because of that, E1 is favored when the temperatures are higher. And those are the cases you'd have where you might be able to see one preference over the other for an E1 versus an SN1.